Hey guys, what is up? It is Mandy here, and I have a special guest with me today. Welcome, Miss Kira Krasnow. Hi, guys. <laughs> so today, I have a super exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on Miss Kira. She's going to be my model today. Um, so for all you 5 you girls, shout out to you. This is both of us, 5 you girls, sisters for life. Um, so, um, we're gonna do a fall makeup tutorial look, and we're using all Mary Kay products today. So, let's get started. Okay, great. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with her face, obviously, because it's important to have that going on. Um, actually, here we go. We're gonna use bronzer too today, just to oh, yeah. like really give her a good contoured look. So the first step to any makeup routine is usually foundation. Um, yeah, we're not going to use this today. We're not going to use the CC cream because the sun's not really out today, so I don't think yeah, she no really sun. needs it. Um, and it has SPF. So, yeah. So, first things first, you want to be able to match somebody's color. Or if you guys, you know, you have your own color that you know. So this is the ivory one that we're going to be using on her today. Dab it. Perfect. <clears throat> so this is like sort of like mineral powder. So I'll have like a little bit of access. You just want to make sure you tap that off. You've never had pink out, right? Oh, I do. I always get worried about my hair. No, I use all like different um, which I'm gonna call it brushes and stuff. Like I clean the brushes and I. Me too. Yeah, you should do a tutorial on how to clean brushes. How to clean brushes? A lot of people don't know. Really? Yeah, they're like, someone asked me, I'm not going to say a name, but they're like, how do I clean my brushes? I was like, they're under the water. I use some stuff. <laughs> use some stuff. Put it under the water. <laughs> Perfect. It's going to look so good. I'm so excited. You're going to be like a beautiful woman. You should like do something tonight. Yeah. So that way like, your makeup won't go to waste. I was going to go to the gym, but it didn't happen. <laughs> you can go to the gym and look fabulous doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so you see how I'm sort of just evenly spreading that around her face. <laughs> and that's her phone. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm filming in Mandy's room. <laughs> I'm filming a video. I can't talk. <laughs> In an hour at the Allentown post office. <laughs> okay, so we'll go after that. That's fine. They close at 9 p.m., I think. I'll look it up. No, I'm in the middle. I'm filming. I don't know. It depends on what time. Becoming a celebrity, I gotta go. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm becoming a celebrity. The YouTube sensation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love I have it. the craziest ringtone, but that's how I know it's mine, because everyone has the same ringtone nowadays. Right. I'm unique, I'm standing out. <laughs> She's standing out with her ringtone. <laughs> so, when you want to apply foundation, you kind of, if you want to like come a little bit closer just so they can like see. So if you want to apply foundation, you want to be able to apply it to the neck, too. I hate... The worst thing is when girls don't apply it to their neck, because it just looks so uneven, and you're just like, what is going on? So this is going to look really good, well-blended. I'm just going to put a little bit more, because you want to, like, tone down the shine on the face. That's, like, the job of mineral powder. It helps with the shine. It helps it maintain... Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the brush feels great. It's like my favorite thing to do every day. Favorite step of my makeup routine. Perfect. Beautiful. Make sure I don't get hair in your eye. There we go. Perfect. So now she has 
her foundation on. So that is the first step to any <laughs> makeup routine. The next step that we're going to do for the face is we're going to use bronzer. And what this does, everybody always asks me how to apply it, you know, when to wear it. I think people, you know, it depends if you want to put it in your everyday makeup routine. I personally don't. Um, just because, you know, it's time consuming. But the purpose of bronzer is mainly to contour your face and just give you like a nice natural glow to your face. So what we're going to be using today is the Mary Kay bronzing powder. And this is in the light to medium. And I have in this little compact palette here. <laughs> Bless you! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, that was the cutest sneeze I think I've ever heard. If it, you guys should like this video if you think her sneeze is cute, <laughs> because it, it's it's cute. just a, some of the stuff up my nose. I think I, I got on your nose. Oh my gosh! My nose, that's how I speak. Oh my god! Oh, I'm okay. Okay, you're alive. Yes. So you're just gonna dip it in, and this is actually a really big, like, good amount of product too that you'll get. It's full size product. And if you guys like any of the products you see, let me know and I can order it for you guys if you'd like. Okay. So this is the bronzing. So I'm going to show you guys exactly, yeah. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So mo some girls, they like just put it in the cheek, like they're applying blush. That's not the proper way to apply bronzer. <laughs> not the right way. <laughs> no. It like looks so bad when girls do that. So I'm going to show you guys. Oh, it's the called three, the right? three. I remembered it. Yes. From it's called the three. Tr the trick. It's the three. Is It's getting your forehead underneath your cheekbone and then underneath your chin or like on your jawline. So we're going to start off. <clears throat> Starting off with the forehead going underneath the cheek. And then going underneath the jawline right there. Just want to give that nice... Does it say your computer is a virus? Yeah. It always does that. Oh, it does? Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like... It's been doing that for like the past couple days. <laughs> and I'm so just funny. like, what's going on? <laughs> but, you know, so stuff I just happens. just want to make sure. Yep. Viruses, you know. <laughs> this is a good color. Yeah. Because it's, it's not like too... Too like bright. Tan, yeah. It too looks like a like, natural glow. Yeah. It's this very nice natural glow. You can like show this side of your face and then show the other side. How there's like no contour really there. Um, but the contour will be more obvious when we add blush as well. I don't so. need a lot of blush because I have pink cheeks or, or Yeah, you don't need like a ton. But a little bit to like a little bit just to like make the contour really stand out. So doing that three is very, very important. Yeah, I just used to put it on like all over my face, like on my nose. But yeah, I know it's a new trick. You know the trick. Mm -hmm. It's the awesome trick. All right, so if you look that way, perfect. Just don't want to get any in your hair. And if you guys see, like, a spot where it needs to be blended more, you just kind of, like, go over it with your brush and it will sort of dissolve in your skin. Okay, so now look at it straight on. So you can kind of see the it little bits. Better. Yeah. The little bits of, like, shine to it. It's sort of like a Photoshop finish type look. So now when you're done with your bronzer... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do blush. And oh my god, this thing just opened on me. <laughs> and I'm British. <laughs> I'm not actually British, but you know. You guys know that if you watch my videos. Okay, blush is over here somewhere, I guess. Okay. So today we're going to be using the blush called Shy Blush. It's just a really nice, pretty pink and shimmery. Okay, I swear I, I, I like put it out. Know. Yeah, it did. This is the so craziest weird. thing. I know. Where did they go? Is it over here? No. 
Is it up over there? No, it's just... Darn it! Okay. Even if I can't find that one, I can use a different one on you. What are these then? Yeah, that's um, a different kind. Oh, so I the same. I did. I just don't. Oh, oh here it is. is. Ah, found it. Yes. I found it. It's a miracle. <laughs> Jesus has been reborn. <laughs> Except not. <laughs> that's okay. You know. <laughs> so. This is the Shy Blush color. It's just like this pretty uh, shiny pink. You guys will be able to see it more when it's actually on her face. It'll look really pretty. I just, it looks really pretty on people with killer skin. And it actually, it, it looks good on almost anybody I've ever put it on, so. Even if you don't have like super pale skin or anything, like it's totally fun. So, here we go. I'm gonna rip this off. Woo! Here we go. So now to apply the cheek, and you want to just dab off axis, is you do an upward motion following the cheekbone. So you just want to just kind of go up like this. Just nice, gentle upward strokes. I don't like it when girls go like this. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, you're going to look like a doll or a troll. Clown. Or a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Which are all things you don't want to look like unless you're dressing up for Halloween. Which... You guys all know it's coming up, and it's my favorite holiday. So maybe I will do a Halloween makeup tutorial for you guys because I'm gonna be a bunny this year. <laughs> so, yeah. So just upward cheek stroke motions. And it's just light and pretty. And then do you want to turn that way? Perfect. In case you guys can't tell, this is gonna be a longer video than usual. <laughs> But it is a okay. Will it post at the same Oh yeah. It'll just take longer to load onto YouTube. Perfect. Almost done. Just wanna make sure both sides look really good. Just doing the upward cheek motion. Woo, perfect. So there you go. That is the fully contoured face look right there. So that is what it looks like with the blush, the bronzer, and the foundation on her. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do her eye makeup. So you always want to start off with the primer. And the reason why is because this is going to help with your pigmentation of your eyeshadow. I wear this stuff every day if I wear eyeshadow or liquid liner. So it's a must. Just makes your eyeshadow look amazing. Yeah, sometimes mine like comes off during the day. Really? It like fades. Yep. I don't know because I don't use the primer. Right. I gotta use it. Gotta use it. Primer is the <laughs> best. So you have the little eye primer. It looks like this. So you're just gonna close your eyes and I'll just dab it and rub it in. So it just looks nice. And just very smooth. going to feel like you're wearing something on your eyes. And can you turn it that way? Perfect. Right. Perfect. So the eye so primer is should look like on. that, right? Yes. Should look like that. Should be completely rubbed in. Do not leave any white access on your eyelids because you will look like Something happened. <laughs> and I'm not going to say the something, but you guys can pick it up. All right. I picked it up. <laughs> picked it up. That's good. It's good. She knows me. She knows me well. So now we're going to use this eyeshadow palette that's actually limited edition from Mary Kay. So I think we're actually out of it, unfortunately. So you guys can't purchase it. But. <laughs> so we're just showing you anyway. <laughs> we're showing you anyway because these colors are beautiful and they're perfect for fall. Um, but so, you can't get it. <laughs> but you can't. But you can't get it. Um, and it's called Emerald Noir, and it's this eye color palette. It comes with five different colors. So we're just going to be using the three <laughs> neutral colors right here: the gold, the tan, and the brown, uh, just to give her sort of the neutral fall look. Um, and then like if you it. want to smoke it out, you could do the greens. But we're just going to stick with this for the, for the day. So the gold is going to go on her lid. So we're just going to do that. 
just a nice pre gold. Relax the eyes as much as you can. Okay, relax. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Perfect. This eye's more relaxed. Which one? This one. Okay. I think the other one was actually. <laughs> I'm not sure though. But yeah, so that's the gold color. Oh, that's pretty. So that's just like really nice for like the fall. And then I think this color actually might be too dark. This one here, the dark brown, because she's really pale. So I think we're just going to go for like this tan right here for the crease. Just so it like gets it really defined. And what I like to do if I'm using an applicator like this is I apply it on the side of the applicator. So it gets like the angle that you want. You're putting it above? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Now you're really relaxed. This is good. So I'm gonna just put a little bit more. I always get worried when people are near my eyes. Really? I had a bad experience at a makeup place. Which place is that? I don't want to name a name. I don't want to put a place down. It's like it's a big place. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. Hope it's not Sephora. No, it's not. Okay. I'd be really worried. Okay. Try to look this way. Oh, this yeah, and just like relax your eyes. Perfect. So when you're doing a crease color, you just want to do like sort of a windshield wash motion, if you guys can see what I'm doing. So just sort of like that, wind wiper, not windshield wash. Mm -hmm. Or it's both, you know, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it. So it looks like that. I actually might do the brown, the darker brown, just like on the top. Okay. Just add a little more. Yeah, add a little more definition because right now it's like very sparkly and like neutral, but like just to make it a little smoked, but not too much. So we're just going to take this here, the dark brown, and we're going to put it on top of the other crease color just to like see for definition. Okay, hold on. Oh, that might be too much. Okay. Uh -oh. We'll take it off if it's too much, or I'll blend it. It will become less. There we go. A little bit less. Take off the excess. And I'm probably going to add more lip color too, just to even it out. Yep. Even it out. You always want to have it even. <laughs> we could have to remove it. No. Okay. I can always work with too much. I can always turn it down. It's not horrible. Yeah. And then just relax. Perfect. There we go. Sorry. Almost done. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I like that. That looks really good. If you want to, like, get, like, a little closer just so they can, like, really see. Like, you can definitely see. Ow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't poke your eye. I poked your cheek. Okay. Um, just so, like, you can see, like, the definition and the difference of her eye and how it's contoured and everything. And it's just, like, sort of smoked out, but it's not too much. This is a good makeup light. Yeah. Very bright. Mm-hmm. I guess every day. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take that dark brown color that you guys saw, this, and we're going to put it in the crease of the other eye. Okay, so you're going to look this way and try to relax your eyes as much as you can. It's all about blending, you guys, so don't be afraid to use colors that are going to look, you know, 
a little crazy because you can always tone it down. That's like one thing that I've definitely learned when applying makeup is if you blend and using the right blending techniques, you'll be able to pull off any look. And then I'll put more on the lid, of course. And then I'll put more of the lid color on. Lid. Yes, I think this is the lid. Yes. So we're going to put some more of the lid on, which is this gold color. Just so it's even. And it looks more like fall. Just like very even. There we go. So you can get a close-up look of that. Very pretty, very pretty. So what we can do is we can either do the bottom liner or the top. Did you like doing both when we did it last time? Yeah, I think we put both, didn't we? I think so. I don't know. One made me like tear up a bit. Was that the regular eyeliner? Yeah. So um, do you not want to use that one? No, we can just use it. Anyway. Okay. Um, so this one you can apply yourself just because like, I don't want you to like... I don't want to like I don't have, like, pull the water. mirror though. Oh good. yeah, the mirror's uh -huh. right here. So she's applying the black eyeliner on the bottom. And then we'll also do a back black eyeliner on the top. Normally I wear brown. Really? For the day, yeah. Brown actually doesn't even show up on me. Because like I have such dark eyelashes. So I always use black. Oh, I, mine's a dark brown. Yeah. Is that good? Do you need any more? You can do whatever. If you a think you need more. more. Just like a tiny bit if you want. Okay. Now the top? I can't. You don't you have to do the top. We're going to do the gel for like the... Oh, the gel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. So that's the bottom liner with the eyeshadow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the gel liner, which we have for Mary Kay, and it's awesome. Wow, there we go. Oh, yeah. Bam! <laughs> Alright, perfect. So we're going to do the gel eyeliner, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. It comes in this little, like, box. It's really cute. It has this little expandable brush. Looks like this. It actually has real bristles on it, which is pretty cool our newest, one of our latest and greatest from Mary Kay. It comes in this pot. Open it up. You can tell it's already been used a little bit. <clears throat> you use them? Not a lot, a lot. Well, is it harder to get off than the normal one? What do you mean? Than the normal eyeliner I just used, or just a different form? It's like a different form. It's like easier to like apply for most people. <laughs> so, you're just going to close your eyes. So mainly what I'm just going to do is I'm going to try to relax and try not to open your eyes until I say, Just try to keep your eyes closed for a little oh, bit. Still? Oh, still? Yeah. Just so, like, it fully dries. Oh, okay. But you can actually you can turn that way just so, like, the camera can see it. There we go. So you guys can definitely tell the difference between, like, with the gel liner and without. It's definitely, this one's definitely more prominent. Okay, you can open. I'm just going to take a little bit here. Oh, Like it's like symmetrical. Right there. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, so that's what the gel liner looks like. It's actually really easy to apply, you guys. You might think it looks really crazy and complicated, but it's actually really easy. Wow, this is a long video, 24 minutes. I know, we're still going strong. We're still going strong. Okay, so just like relax the eye. 
a little bit more. Relax. Yeah, just pretend you're like asleep. <sighs> <laughs> Try not to smile. Just like pretend you're like asleep or like. Just I smile in my sleep. <laughs> Do you really? I laugh in my sleep sometimes. Really? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I'm always laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like your eyes, like calm and relaxed. Oh, I'm close. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming at me. <laughs> okay. I'm coming at her. Okay, okay. Just relax. Perfect. Okay. Actually, could you turn more this way? Yep. Perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna fix a little bit of it. So just turn that way to the yeah, the way before. And just relax your eyes a little bit more. Yeah, so that's what the gel liner is going to look like. It's really cool, really pretty. I just like the way it looks. Okay, and the last step for eyes is, of course, mascara. The best part. So today we're using the Lash Love Mascara. Take a new wand. Sort of like dip it in there. Make sure you get good glob of that. <clears throat> and then should I put it on or you want to put it on? You can put it on if What's you want. What's easier? Whatever's easier for you. You think you would be available to do it? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so she'll just put on the mascara. Thank you guys if you're still watching. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch this. It's, long, some it's one of my longest videos. It is my longest Yay. video. But that's because there's a lot of steps to make a routine. Full makeup. <clears throat> uh oh. What? I think I smeared it. Oh, it's fine. Shoot. Will you just like makeup remover? Just to get it off if it's under the eye. Okay. I did a pretty good job. Yeah, you did. Looks really good. Yeah, so that's the full eyes look um, with the mascara. So now we're just going to do the lips. And for the lips, I like to do sort of a berry color, especially because it is fall and she's having a neutral eye, so you are able to do that. Um, so we're just going to take this little lip gloss sample that I have. It's in the color Berry Tart. It's really cute. It looks really nice. And usually I recommend using a lip mask, which Mary Kay has before applying this, but since this is just like, you know, casual, everyday fall look, and I don't want to keep you guys <laughs> too long. <laughs> Even though it's only been 30 minutes. <laughs> yep. So it just looks like this. So I'll just look at me. Oh, this is gonna look so pretty. It smells good. Yeah, it always smells like smells vanilla. Like vanilla yeah. All the lip glosses do. It's amazing. <laughs> do I like that? There 
Georgia. And then put your lips together. Perfect! And that is the cool. finished look. The okay. fall makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely fall makeup tutorial and I would like to have a special thank you to the beautiful Kira. Um, and I hope you guys feel free to like and subscribe and show this to your friends if you are looking for makeup ideas. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Again, if there's any products that you guys saw that you'd be interested in purchasing. Except for the eyeshadow that you can no longer get. Except for the eyeshadow, but I do have replacements. There's better eyeshadows. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but there's also, like, other colors that we have from Mary Kay that are similar to this. So do not feel alarmed that we do not currently have that anymore. Um, <laughs> someone asked just for that. I know. I actually you did have similar have a girl. stuff, though. Yeah, we you do. did have a girl asking for it. Yeah, but I actually got get, got it for her. Oh, like, that's so nice. Before it sold out, so. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I actually have one, actually. Oh, you do? I do have oh, one. Oh, so there's one left. Sell. I do have one that I could give to you guys if you really do like it. Um, I think it was like 14 for the, uh, it's, I don't know what to call five eyeshadows altogether. Because you usually say like a trio if it's three, yeah. but. There's five of them. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so feel free to comment. Let us know if you want to see another makeup tutorial, maybe for the winter or for the spring or summer or whatever. <laughs> and Mandy takes requests, guys. I right? do take requests. <laughs> if you guys have any makeup tutorial requests, fashion, advice, anything, I will do it. And, yes, like, subscribe, comment. And, yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope Bye, you have guys. a good one. And yeah, and we out. <laughs> Bye.